What could we do? How could we use some of the things we talked about today? Less waste. Yeah. Much less definitely less waste. Right. Oh, more of <laughs> We can recycle more. We can recycle everything that comes into this can. Great idea. What, like signs to elaborate on what you're saying. Yes. Signs and things that get damaged and whatever, immediately get rid of them. Whatever waste is, garbage or whatever, immediately get rid of it and have a designated area to just take care of, you know, waste. So it does not like all piled up. Whenever the garbage may come around, make sure everything is in its proper. Uh, container to be shipped out so it doesn't look so filthy and you know disheveled around in the camp. So um, my brother works for the city. Matter of fact, he works for sanitation and parks. Maybe I could talk to him about using that what he said about bringing and recycling and stuff like that. I could probably get him to. Talk to somebody about yeah. one, of the, one of the things I noticed. Well, to me, that's kind of almost the opposite. Like throwing it away right away. Yeah. Um, you see if you can like use was, it first. Yeah, I was down here one night and somebody was breaking that's apart cool. tent, po tent that posts. That was me. <laughs> and and I, my thought was save them and we could use them, you know, Space. like for signs or something yeah. or whatever. I broke yeah. apart the tent yeah, posts. Be used. Used. That would be a good you were idea. using the inside or something, was, the stretchy. I was going to say the stretching yeah. because there was some of the tent posts were actually damaged. Yeah. A lot of them were. One of the things I noticed that we don't do here enough is people care. Like we don't take care of the people here a lot of times. We 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 demand more and more of them. Um, even the people who are already doing a lot sometimes because you know they say the easiest way to get something done is give uh, give it to a busy man, give it to a busy person. You know, it's like you want to get something done, give it to a busy person. In other words, there's people who just take stuff on, and sometimes it's easier instead of us ourselves stepping up. It's just like, hey, I noticed yeah. you're doing a good job right. here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. 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 And so, so in people it's care, it's like we would we would be. I think we'd be more aware uh, in Occupy Buffalo of the people who are already doing more than their fair share and trying to just at least support them and nourish them, at least nourish them, if, even if we don't, you know, uh, do more than that, but at least acknowledge and nourish the people who are already really whole, carrying a lot of burden. Um, and you can see it on them, like, the people who are stressed, usually the people who are really stressed, and we all know who those people are, right? The people who, who kind of flip out every once in a while are people, they're flipping out because they're under tremendous pressure and they're carrying a lot. So. Um, I think just taking care of our own, you know, I, uh, Linda brought up a, a point once a while back ago about Firewatch. You want to talk about that a little bit? Because I think that was a per do you know what I'm talking about? About the discussion as to whether or not Firewatch would have the responsibility of monitoring some of the behaviors related to addiction, violence, and so forth. And there was a big discussion about it. And I think what was, I think, frustrating for me is that the Firewatch people were saying they were overwhelmed and didn't have enough, you know, person power to really execute um, that kind of vigilance and the policies and so forth. But there was a lot of discussion, and I think coming from a place of compassion about how we might handle these problems more sensitively. But it certainly required resources that Firewatch themselves were saying they didn't really have to give. And so, I think for me it was unless people want to step up and join Firewatch, alternative proposals almost become a drain on time and attention because we don't have, if we don't have the resources, then we can't go forward. So I think, you know, is that? Yeah, yeah. Was a, yeah I remember that really clearly. I, was, I remember people arguing, trying to insist that fire, you know, we shouldn't kick anybody out, you know, we should just take care of them. It's like, I remember like having the absurd, conversation of trying to explain to somebody, have you ever dealt with a heroin addict? Do you know the amount of resources, time, takes, and exactly. energy it takes to help a heroin yep. addict? Sure. And, you, and you're not even going to do it. You're just abstractly thinking that that's the right thing to do. It's what we stand for. I'm going to vote on it, and then I'm going to go home. I don't even sleep here. Yep. You know, it's like, and it <laughs> exactly. should fall exactly. on these guys. The guy, you know, the guy who already does far away. He should do it. Exactly. It's like, really? That's like, what I felt. That's it was like that. That's, that's, that's a conversation we were back. having. Okay. And with that, that Firewatch thing, uh, when um, Misty, she ain't, uh, not Misty, but uh, Mocha, she ain't here no more, but Mocha 
brought up about a mediator between, like a go-between, uh, before, like Firewatch. Firewatch should be the last resort, basically. Basically what he's saying is that the peacekeepers go in there, if they can, if they can hand, handle it, go to the mediator, and then after the mediator, if that mediator can't handle it, then the Firewatch should do it. Yeah, and that's, Firewatch. She, I mean, it was a good idea, but their own that's three working groups that even are basically doing the same thing. I, I think within our design, but, should always Firewatch should be last resort, and we shouldn't be held accountable. It, it, it has to be like a, a n not a violent escort, but just a little wait, like come on and have, escort them off and across the street or whatever, then say, listen, if you come back over here, you're going to be arrested. Other than that, you know, it, that should be last resort. We, yeah. we should be last resort. Firewatch should be last resort. Eric? Well, I'm thinking about the principles that you're talking about and um, trying to translate it into the concept of time. And, um, I was thinking about uh, how we are naturally, and I, I've read that uh, when humans were hunter-gatherers, they only worked about three hours a day. That's right. That's right. And so thinking about the pattern you have, zero zone in terms of time, there's a certain amount of time when we spend doing intensive work, working, and then there's time we do doing less intensive work, right. sort of preparing, and that would be less time, maybe three hours of intensive work, well, actually, I'm sorry, the other way around. Three hours of intensive work, more hours of play, less something that's less intense, right. more hours of something else, idle activity, you know, just being in nature. And we already sleep a third of the day. So our time already has sort of untouched wild space where our minds go somewhere else that we're not in control of at all That's right. and we're perfectly free and we can re-energize and be more healthy. A thought that I had and sort of trying to negotiate it with someone who I had a conflict with um, and it's a thought about hopefully proposing something that would bring health to the camp is us keeping time banks. Um, not something centrally kept but something that we would individually keep and sort of keep track of how much time we're putting into the occupation and remember to leave time for ourselves so we don't have these moments of being overwhelmed exactly. and overpowered by everything. Right. It's, fun. it's it's very apropos that you brought that up because I was just reading in a book about intentional communities called Is It Utopia Yet? at my son's house. His mom has this book. It's a book I've been wanting to read for years, and it has in three chapters on time banks. Um, and it's all about how uh, one of the oldest running intentional communities in the United States, one of them, there's been several, of them, but one of the most successful is Twin Oaks in, West, in Virginia. Um, it's in Virginia. And um, still very successful, very large intentional community. It's been going since the 60s. Um, and they run everything as a time bank. It's an income sharing. A community meaning that people don't keep incomes for themselves they, they put it all in one pot and then they meet everybody's needs from that pot and all the needs of the community and they do it by time banking but it's interesting because the time banking they do is very different than what you would think for example things that are included so um, one credit is equal to one hour of labor Right? And you're supposed to earn 46 credits per week, which sounds like a lot. Well, that's, that's more than anybody works. 46 hours a week, that's a lot. But l listen to the things on the list that get credited. Child care, washing dishes, yeah. sweeping the floor, answering phones. Like, small things. Like, yeah. very simple things. Um, that we all do and we, we don't credit ourselves for. we don't credit for ourselves for. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so t you know, playing with children, just play. Child play, not just child care, but child play is considered you know, valuable, you're helping the community, so you get credited for it. So it's actually not like there's 46 hours of hard labor. You know, it's like literally like a lot of the things that you would just do naturally, you're credited for it. So it's good to just notice that we're already doing this stuff. We're already putting in all this effort to help the community grow. And I think a lot of people in this room and in this camp have done a lot for this for this community. I like your idea. I think it's a great yeah. idea. And I think we're going to investigate that more. You know? Well, I think yeah. about, one of, I don't know, I,